हेलो स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ साइंस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर नंबर वन द लिविंग वर्ल्ड एंड एडेप्टेशन फर्स्ट वी विल स्टडी एडेप्टेशन इन प्लांट्स एडेप्टेशन इन एक्वेटिक प्लांट्स सम प्लांट्स फ्लोट ऑन द वॉटर एडेप्टेशन इन एक्वेटिक प्लांट्स Streams and petioles are flexible. Leaves float on water. Leaves and stem coated with waxy layer. Adaptation in desert plants. Leafless or leaves like small needles. Some leaves seem to be modified into thorns for conserving water. Very little water is lost by evaporation. Adaptation in plants of snowy region. Trees are in conical in shape with sloping branches due to heavy snowfall and extreme cold weather such adaptation are seen adaptation in plants of forest region trees grow tall to capture sunlight and climbers and vines grow with the support of trees plants adapted by having spring like tendrils with which they support from host tree most of the plants are autotrophic some plants are parasitic example dodder which is leafless and thus cannot perform photosynthesis there are students now we are going to see classification of animals there are many animals around us let us see how to classify them adaptation in aquatic animals aquatic animals show modification structure of body tapering spindles shape body with scales and fins for swimming respiration by gills air bladders within the body for floating adaptation in amphibians frog is an amphibian it inhabits both land and water being a true amphibian it can breathe in water with the help of skin and when on the land it breathes with nose and lungs let us see adaptation in forest and grassland animals carnivorous animals and herbivorous animals legs are strong and sharp with claws and in herbivorous animals long tapering legs with strong hooves eyes in carnivorous animals are front of head and in herbivorous animals eyes are below the forehead in carnivorous animals teeth are pointed canines while in herbivorous animals strong molars ears of carnivorous animals are small in herbivorous animals ears are long and freely moving example of carnivorous animals are wild dog frog tiger and lion while example of herbivorous animal is deer antelope let us see the adaptation in desert animals which are living with very less water the scarcity of water has resulted into adaptation in the body of animals burrowing in deep earth characteristic in animals long legs with flat soles holes of skin over the nostrils long and thick eyelashes thick skin to conserve water in the body students let us see adaptation in animals of snowy region long thick hair on the skin white or silver body color example yak polar bear white fox silver fox mountain goat etc in the picture you can see different snowy region animals students 
it is time to see the adaptation in aerial animals you all know that aerial animals means all type of birds in the diagram all the modifications in the body of bird is shown spindle shaped body of birds that minimizes the resistance of air while flying feathers covering the body four legs modified into wings air sacs in the body to increase buoyancy hollow bones making body light in weight and adaptive for flying these are adaptation we see in the aerial animals that are birds in aerial animals again two types are there insects let us see modification in insects light weight and tapering body two pairs of wings for flight six stick like walking legs let us see bat thin fold of skin called patagium between their four legs and hind legs light bat has very less weight and ability to hang now one more type of animal is reptile animals snakes creep with the help of scales on their skin some reptiles use their muscles for creeping example house lizard garden lizard and crocodile students up to now we have seen what adaptations have been taken place in animals and plants for living now in front of you i am going to put a question that is which are the criteria used for classification of plants and animals answer this question see the video